English speaking course. In deep water. Hey, what are you doing? I am cleaning the kitchen. Anyone home? No, only me. Where are your parents? They are at work. And your sister? I don't know. I don't care. Why do you ask about her? I want to borrow some books. I know she has some interesting books. She didn't come home last night. What? Did she call home? Yeah, she only called once at midnight. So she is in deep water with my parents. But why didn't she come home? She went to a party and got drunk. But then she couldn't drive home. Right, she stayed at Lily's house. It was dirt cheap. Whoa, you got a new watch. Yeah, I bought it at the fall fair. Can I have a look at it, please? It is quite gorgeous. Here you go. Thanks. It looks quite luxurious. How much did it cost? I don't remember exactly because I bought it with some other stuff. Was it around $100? No, it was cheaper. I bought it for around $20, I think. Really? It was dirt cheap. I think now you can sell it at the price of hundreds of dollars. I don't think so, but I will check with a store. Yeah, you got a bargain. Know something like the back of your hand. Hey, I think we got lost. We've been around this building twice. No way. I know this area like the back of my hand. But you see, we are still next to the Main Street Mall. Okay, let me check the map. Is everything fine? Not really. I think we are too far from the museum right now. What should we do now? We should go back that way. How far is it? Around 10 kilometers. Oh my gosh, we went too far. Shall we get a taxi? I'm tired of walking already. Yeah, that is a great idea. I don't want to get lost again. We need more up to the minute news. I want you to write about the accident on the main street. The accident yesterday. Yeah, that topic is attracting a lot of public attention. I think it was only a normal accident. No, the victim was the heir of a big company. Oh my, okay, I will follow the case. We need more up-to-the-minute news. I think there will be some mystery with this case. The victim is in the hospital now. I will follow his health situation. Yeah, he is in a VIP room. Oh, so it is hard to reach the news. I know someone who works in that hospital. Great, I can interview them to get more detail. Okay. I'd like a beer. Good evening. Do you want to order now or later? Can I have a minute to check out your menu, please? Sure, take your time. I'd like to have a beef steak. Sure, how do you want your beef? I want a medium rare, please. Sure, anything else? I also like stir-fried noodles. I'll take one of those. Okay. Do you want anything to drink? I'd like a beer. Do you have draft beer? Yes, we do. Great. So I'd like to have a draft beer. Good choice. Do you want anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Wet behind the ears.
Do you know Alex? Is he the new employee in our marketing department? Yeah, he is. I know him. I talked with him on his interview day. How is he? He is kind and has qualifications which fit our department. I feel like he's a nice young fellow, but a bit wet behind the ears. Yeah, he just graduated in the last three months. Our company has never accepted an employee without experience. I understand. However, the policy has changed. We should give newbies opportunity. I got it. I believe he can be a great co-worker in the future. Brush up on. How was your speaking test? It went well. My topic was not too difficult. Lucky you. I think so. I practiced that topic so many times before the exam. What kind of score do you think you'll get from it? I'm not sure. How about you? What score do you think you'll get? I don't know. My topic was a hard one. Or you. So you didn't say anything, or... I explained my ideas to the examiner, but they were poor. So I think the result is not bad. Ideas are the most important thing. The teacher said I should brush up on my pronunciation. I was so nervous. It's on the tip of my tongue. Did you see the new employee in our company? Yeah, she was just over there. What's up? I have a report that I want to ask her to help with. Oh. I think she will be back in a few minutes. Okay. Should I wait for her here? Sure. Take a seat. By the way, do you know her name? Yes, of course. She is in the same department as me. I also know her name. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Do you want me to give you a hint? No. No, just give me a second. Okay. Ah, is she Anna? I remember her name starts with an A. No, she is Anne. Ah, yes, Anne. I will remember it. It doesn't make any difference to me. What should we learn first? Should we vote? That's a great idea. I choose math. Me? English. Peter, what do you think? It doesn't make any difference to me. Come on, we should choose one subject to complete first. That's right, we have many things to do. I hate math and English. What about science? Tomorrow we don't have science. We can do that homework later. I agree with James. Really? I thought we had science on Friday. Yeah, we have science on Friday, but tomorrow is Thursday. Oh my, I only brought books for Friday here. I can lend you one, no worries. Go window shopping. Oh, Tina! Hi! What a surprise! How are you? Morning! I'm great, thanks. What are you buying? I'm here with my sister. Lily? Where is she? She is in the fitting room now. She wants to buy something for the new school year. Yeah, she will enroll in university this year, right? That's right. What about you? What are you buying? Nothing really. I just want to go window shopping today. You should buy something. They have a discount today. Really? I didn't know that. Every Wednesday, they discount up to 20%. That sounds great. I will consider it. Topic 1. Miss the Boat. Hi, Karen. Why do you look so upset? 
Well, remember the last time I told you I got this amazing job offer from a big company? Yeah, but you were also kind of indecisive because you've already worked for another company. Yeah, that's right. And do you remember what you said? Yeah, I remember telling you not to miss the boat and just take the offer. Well, today I did follow your advice and I did not miss the boat. So what happened? Why do you look so upset? Turns out it wasn't a job offer. When I showed up, there were other candidates for that position. So that was just a casting call. But at least now you can go back to your old job, right? Oh, I definitely cannot do that. Why not? You haven't already quit your job, have you? I certainly have. I told my boss I'm sick of her micromanaging style and I'm never going back to that company. Topic 2. Bend over backward. Hey Amy, I've just joined a parent-teacher conference today. The teacher has made some assessments about you. Would you like to hear what they were? Sure Dad. What did she say? Well, she highly evaluated your academic performance. But she also said that you can be a people pleaser. Well, what does that supposed to mean? Well, sometimes she would catch you doing homework for your friends in class. Well, that was true, but they asked for my help. I don't know how to refuse them. I understand that having friends is important. But you don't need to bend over backwards just to please everyone. Okay, Dad. You're right. I won't do it again. Topic 3. In the Nick of Time Why is your room still a mess? Mom told you to clean your room like 20 minutes ago. And I will, right after I finish this video game. I think you'd better hurry. If Mom sees this, she's going to hit the roof. What do you even have to worry about? I can clean everything in the nick of time. No way. Your clothes are all over the floor. And isn't that last night's spaghetti on your desk? Don't worry. I have a very special way to clean things up. Mom will never know. And how exactly are you going to do that? I'm just going to throw everything under my bed. And everything is going to be squeaky clean. Topic 4. Let's grab a bite to eat. Hey, I'm hungry. Do you want to go with me to the canteen? Yeah, sure. But we only have a five-minute break. Do you think we can make it to the canteen? But I haven't had anything for breakfast. Let's grab a bite to eat. Sure, if you have to be quick. This place is so crowded. Do you want to grab something to eat, too? Not really. Let's hurry up and get back to class. We only have two minutes left. I don't know if I should just go for the bread or the noodles. Just go for the noodles. We have one minute left. Yeah, but then should I go for the strawberry milk or the banana milk? Right. Now we run out of time and we're officially late for the next class. Topic 5. Down in the dumps. Jenny, is that you? What are you doing in the park? Oh, hi Frank. I'm just wandering around. I'm feeling a little bit down in the dumps right now. Oh really? What happened? Well, I just found out that Jack didn't make it. I don't know who Jack is, but I guess he must be very important to you if you're that sad. Yeah, he was so young and full of life. I didn't expect him to go so soon. I see. Losing someone must be hard. I'm sorry for your loss. 
Thank you for understanding. It means a lot to me. May I ask if Jack is your younger brother or your nephew? What? No, it's Jack Dawson. You know, the one in the Titanic movie? Topic six, it's a little chilly. Thank you for going on a date with me today. I had a really fun time. Me too. I guess this is the end of our date. Let me take you home. Yeah. Hey, I think it's a little chilly. Can I borrow your coat? Really, it's not that cold. Besides, my coat is quite heavy. Can you handle it? You know a real gentleman would have just handed the lady his coat. Oh, I see now. You like my coat. You could have just asked for it in the first place. I can tell you where to buy. No, you don't get me. It's not about the coat. It's more about the gesture. What gesture? Why is putting on a coat so important to you? Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a wall. You know what? Forget about it. I'm not cold. Goodbye! Topic 7. Set in their ways. Joyce, why are you so sad? I've just got off the phone with my parents. We've just had this huge argument. Again? What did you fight about this time? You know, my dream is to be a designer, but my parents have always wanted me to follow the same career path as theirs. That sounds unfair. You did tell them about your dream, right? Yeah, I did, but they are so set in their ways, they won't listen to me. It must be hard, but I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Yeah, thank you, that means a lot. By the way, what do your parents want you to do? Oh, they just wanted me to take over our boring multinational FMCG family business. Topic 8. Kick the Bucket Hi, Keith. It's you again. You come here quite often lately. Yeah, it's a good place to come and reflect. I think so, too. I've been thinking a lot lately about what happens after we kick the bucket. It's a mystery, isn't it? Some people believe in an afterlife, while others think we just cease to exist. I hope there's something after we die. It's hard to imagine just not being here anymore. I guess no matter what happens, we should make the most of the time we have while we're still alive. Yeah, although at our age now, we probably don't have that much time left. Topic 9. Mind your own business. Hey Jean, I just saw your story on Instagram today. Did you break up with your boyfriend? Seriously, Carl, are you going to ask me that question at work? Sorry, no offense intended, just curious. It's all right, I'm a little bit short-tempered today. Just don't talk about this at work, okay? Okay, yeah, I get it. He probably broke up with you. That's why you're getting angry, right? Are you kidding? It was me who broke up with him. Oh, really? So why did you decide to break up with him? Because he forgot my birthday. Oh my god, you just manipulated me. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Please mind your own business. Topic 10. You only have to... To... I'm sorry, can you tell me how to get to the supermarket? Oh hi, you're a tourist. Yeah, that's right. 
why don't you just use Google Maps? It's going to be quicker than asking for directions from local people. Well, I can't find the internet here, so I thought you can help. Well, it's not that easy to get to the supermarket. There are two routes you can take, the easy one or the hard one. Okay, what about the easy one? Go straight for a mile and then turn left. Keep going until you see a river, then turn right. That's the easy one? What about the hard one? Well, you only have to climb that mountain over there to get to the supermarket. <laughs> Chill out. Hey Mike, the wedding starts at 3. Why are you still here watching a football match? Jen, chill out. We are only 20 minutes away by car from the train station. It's already 2.30. You'd better get ready now. Gosh, you haven't changed your clothes yet. Today it's snowing. Traffic will be slow. Shake a leg and get going. Come on, Jen. Five more minutes. I'm in the middle of watching the game. Can you please hurry up? Stop being so laid back. Fine. Relax. I'm coming. Jesus, it's snowing a lot today. It's three already. Why hasn't the train come yet? Look over there, Jen, on the platform display. Oh, it says that the train to Brooklyn has been delayed due to heavy snow. Oh, no. Cut it out. I've already told you, it's not my fault. Are you kidding me? You keep the keys the whole time. I thought you were the one who kept them. You were the one who locked the door. Oh, Jesus. I locked the door, then I gave the key to you. It's you who lost them. Gosh, please. We went to the mall and it was so crowded. You bought tons of things and then gave me a bunch of bags. Oh, are you telling me that it's my fault? You said you're going to buy me gifts today. Can you two please cut it out? We're in the middle of the meal and you guys keep arguing. Blew me away. Oh, Trisha, I'm bouncing off the walls. I'm literally shaking right now. Relax, Amanda. I know this time is super important. You know I'll be there for you. And I'm so happy for your wedding. Thanks so much, Trisha. There's actually lots of choices here, Trisha. I know, this place is great. Do you have anything in mind? What do you think about these two? One is an off-the-shoulder gown, and the other one is like a Queen Anna? I mean, they both look good. I found this one, look! Oh, this one looks amazing, Trisha. But I don't know if I look good with a corset wedding dress. You only know when you try it on, Amanda. Jesus, you are drop-dead gorgeous. I think this is the one for you, not gonna lie. You think? Of course, the whole look blew me away when you came out of the fitting room. Black Sheep Oh, Chris, my successful businessman. How's that everything? Everything is under control and I'm always willing to go the extra mile. That's my grandson. How about you, Dylan? I heard your mom said you're going to open another branch in Ohio. Yes, I'm planning to open up my business. The market is growing bigger and bigger. Oh, um. I'm glad that you have a very good vision. That's already in our genes. Fifty years ago, you also opened your first branch in Manhattan, Grandpa. Right, right. Where's Elise? 
Why does she always fling herself into those drawings and pictures? And spend the whole day at her stupid gallery. I'm here, and my gallery is not stupid, Grandpa. You always get hooked on paintings, and you eat, sleep, and breathe art. Grandpa, you bring this up again. Why do you always make me feel like I'm the black sheep in our own family? This is so unfair. Make one's mouth water. Hi, ma'am. What would you like to order? We'd like a medium-sized pizza with pepperoni. Oh, and orange juice for my daughter and a salad plate. Anything else? I think we're good here. Okay, ma'am. The food will be ready soon. Here's your food. Look, Mommy. This pizza makes my mouth water. Oh, it was yummy. I love it. Mommy, can we come here next time? Sure, honey, we will. Save face. Well, your teacher just called me and said you cheated on your history exam. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. Gosh, it's just one time. The history exam was the toughest. That's so humiliating. You make me embarrassed. I'm an attorney and I'm gonna run for mayor of this town. Don't do something stupid that can ruin my career. Gosh, and all you care about is your career. To save face? Do you even care about Will? Amelia, you know how important it is to me. I need to get that position, whatever it takes. You're so obsessed with this silly thing. Whatever. She was a lovely woman and will be greatly missed. Hey Ivy, how are you right now? With a heavy heart, I am so sorry for your loss. Thanks, Leah. Things just came so fast, and I don't even know that she's already gone. My heart sank when I heard the news too, Ivy. I wanted to come earlier to comfort you, but I was just so caught up with so many things. Please don't say that, Joe. I don't want to burden anyone. It's great that you can make it to come here with me. You know we'll always be here for you, Ivy. How are your parents? Are they okay? They're gonna be fine. My mom can't stop sobbing and my dad is trying to comfort her. I know he's broken inside though. I hope things are gonna be okay with you and your family. I would miss your grandma so much. Yes, Joe's right. She was a lovely woman and will be greatly missed. Teacher's Pet Hey Jade, how's the biology class? It's good until Luke comes in. Jesus! Oh, Luke's also in your biology class? I'm in the same math class as him. He's my teacher's favorite. You're right. Oh my god, he's so annoying. I feel like Luke flatters all of the teachers. Today he kept giving compliments on our biology teacher's hairstyle. Really? Gosh, he butters teachers up to get good grades, I guess. But that's not all. He always wants to win the teacher's special favor, and he would do whatever it takes to get that. Even becoming a snitch. Last week, he told the teacher that Mary didn't conform to the school dress code by wearing a blue shirt. I know we should follow the rules, but it doesn't mean we have to tell the teacher every mistake other students make, right? Yeah, he's such a silly teacher's pet. He seems to be a know-it-all, but actually he knows absolutely zero things. Get back to nature.
Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to get back to nature after being swamped with exams and loads of studies. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to have fun here. You guys will have a, quite a few irons in the fire today. I have a list of activities which will make you all stay engaged and stimulated today. Teacher, so we're going to have lunch in the woods, right? We'll have lunch here. After lunch, we'll venture back into the forest. There's one thing I need you to be aware of. Listen up. These are kinds of mushrooms we can't eat. It's in the picture here. Teacher, they look pretty. Why can't we eat those? Well, because they are poisonous, Lizzie. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Good morning, Stacy. Oh, hi, Mike. Jesus, you look horrible. What happened? I was up all night to look after my sick kid. She had a fever. It wasn't until 3 a.m. that she was better. I was so worried. I'm ready to drop right now, Mike. For you. But we have a meeting today. How can you deal with it? I don't even know, Mike. I'm exhausted and in need of rest. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Don't let yourself burn out like this. You were so tied up with your kid and work. I think you should take a break. Take a day off and go somewhere to relax. You're right. I can't take this anymore. I guess I'll ask the manager to reschedule the meeting to next week. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.